All right, we're with Ken Anderson. Uh, we met Ken originally over in West Des Moines, and uh, completely yeah. uh, enthralled with your with your drums. Uh, tell me your the name of your team. Andy's Barbecue. Andy's Barbecue, and you are located where? What's Ames, it? Iowa. Ames, Iowa. And the best barbecue to go to in Ames, Iowa would be? Buford's Barbecue. Buford's Barbecue. Okay. Now, uh, tell us about the drums and because, uh, honestly, e almost everybody out here is cooking in an indirect way uh, with their heat. You got direct heat. Tell us about it. Uh, as you can see, they're 55-gallon barrel drums. I bought them out of a company in Las Vegas. They shipped them to me. I had them sandblasted. So I get any material that isn't good right. out. Right. All right. So I painted the outside up, and I put a charcoal basket on the inside, and a water pan, mm -hmm. as you can see down there. Mm. So I have a little bit of moisture. I put my product here, put the lid on, open the vents, and the more vents you open on the bottom, the more air that goes through, the hotter the fire. And your your water pan is going to catch some of your grease, exactly. so you're not putting too much grease into your fire. Right. And Control run it. the fire, and it also adds moisture back into your product. And, and over in West Des Moines, you said you had a, uh, uh, one of these was uh, insulated? Right. A double, That's this one right here. Double wall? Double wall. These run on barbecue gurus, which are, which are little fans right. that you put a temperature probe on your rack, and whatever you set your temperature at, right. that'll give enough air to keep the charcoal up to that temperature. And uh, so as long as you got charcoal in there, the, the fire will continue to grow at, at that level. Yeah. If you have a rack three-fourths full, which is about 12 pounds, right. it'll burn for 12 hours. Right. And um, so you sleep at night pretty good, or do you have to come out and check well, it? Or? I cook hot and fast as opposed to the egg that's slow and slow. Right. So I put my product on about 4 in the morning. Right. So I get a little bit of sleep before I start. Okay. Alrighty. Is that one of yours or is that, is that a that's, different one? No, that fellow over there built his. Same principle. Oh, it's a little okay. bit different design. Okay. Alright. Well, I just, I love the idea and I got to tell you, uh, you inspired me. I went home and uh, I, uh, I cooked on a direct method in my smoker. In my, yes. And in, in it, it's a stair step offset. Yes. But I had enough height that I, uh, and I, I got some results, and Kathy and my daughter-in-law both said, yeah. this is ribs, and they both said, you know, I'm not a big rib eater, but I really like these, mm -hmm. and and what the best I can tell you is I think it did a better job of rendering fat. Yes. I don't know if you would agree with that or not. I would, I would, and it holds moisture in on the direct method, because some people say wrap it in foil and the smoke will stay out. Right. Nothing keeps smoke out. You right. ever see a house fire? Yeah. What happens to everything in the house? Full of smoke. Yeah. You can't keep it out. You have okay. smoke, it's there. Okay. I don't care how much foil. Okay. So I don't even foil too much anymore because what's the use? The smoke's going to get in anyway. Sure. And isn't that what we all want? Smoke uh, flavor? Uh, smoke and bark. That's why we add it. That's, that's, what, yeah. that's the business we're in. Smoke and bark. Ken's been fun. Hey, good to see stop you. Stop again tomorrow when we're cooking.